a serial show. If you can't guess, we're showing the Phantom. No, not that Phantom. We're showing the original from 1943, starring Tom Taylor as the Phantom. This is going to be a 15-chapter black-and-white serial. It's bad. Tom Tyler is do, does an excellent job in this as the Phantom. He actually looked like the Phantom did back from in the 1930s. He was also, if you remember, in Captain Marvel as Captain Marvel. He actually looked like Captain Marvel at that time with the original comic until they beefed him up a little bit. So here's the first chapters of The Phantom, 1943. Thanks for tuning in. This is Donald Mealy. Unexplored jungles live the native tribes who for generations have been ruled by a great leader, the phantom, the ghost who walks, the man who never dies, a supreme ruler who throughout the years has taught them to live together in peace and harmony. But one day the peaceful stillness of the jungle is broken by the weird and sinister sound of the native tom-toms that had long been silent. It is a message from the phantom telling the leaders of all the tribes to gather together for an important meeting. And soon, at Tonga Village, the home of the Phantom, the chiefs, medicine men, high priests, and witch doctors begin to gather to await the appearance of their leader and counselor. Refreshment mood coming on. Let's go into the bar and have a punch. That's an idea. Four punches, please. Yes, sir. Well, Professor Davidson, how do you like our strange country by this time? Very much indeed. What little I've seen of it. Have you any word yet from Mr. Smith? No, but I'm sure he'll be back today. I'll let you know as soon as the guy arrives. Tell me, do you know why they're beating those drums? Some sort of a native ritual. I don't know much about it. I've only been here a short time myself. Uh, there's Dr. Bremer. He's been to the interior many times. He can probably tell you all about it. Uh, Dr. Bremer. I'd like to have you meet Professor Davidson of Melville University. How do you do, Professor? Doctor's our only physician here in Saipan. And this is my niece, Miss Palmer, and Mr. Doctor. Anderson, Mr. Prescott, my two assistants. How do you do, gentlemen? Welcome to Saipan. The Good professor night. wants to know the meaning of those tom-toms. Oh, so you're curious about our drums. Well, they're what the natives use for a jungle telegraph when, uh... Oh, but I don't suppose you ever heard of the Phantom. Isn't that the native legend about the man who never dies? Exactly. Whenever there's trouble brewing, he uses those drums to call a meeting of all the tribal leaders. Does such a man really exist? Oh, yes, he does. And the natives really believe him to be immortal? They do indeed. But naturally, we know him to be nothing more than a clever showman who exploits the ignorant savage's superstitious fear. Where does this phantom live? At the Tonga village, about a uh, day's journey into the interior. Very interesting indeed. Uh, I'd like to run across him sometime. I think you'll find that rather difficult, okay. Professor.
Chiefs, leaders, men of wisdom and knowledge, I have called you together because I fear there are forces that will menace your peace and happiness. There has been no war among any of you, but I have reason to believe that there are evil influences trying to destroy the way of life under which you've lived and prospered. It has long been known. No, Silva. Leaders, stay here in Tonga until I return to tell you more. Last I saw you struck by a poison dart, brought juice of Tobiana flower. You must drink quickly. No, it's no use. It would only delay the action of the poison for a short time. Moko, go search for man who shoot poison dart. No. That's not important now. Pen and paper. I'm going to send a message to my son. Moko, I want you to take this note to Rusty at Stefana. Send message to you. Cable my son at Melville University. Tell him to take a plane to Saipana at once. Mola Mola? Oh, live ding ding. Oh, hi. Pana Pana. Pana Pana. Put that with the rest of Z-17's reports. Come in, Long. Hi, Chris. Well, did you get rid of the immortal phantom? Yeah, he got it right where the chicken gets the eggs. Nice work. Sit down. Now, with the phantom out of the way, we'll be able to force the natives to help us with the construction of our secret air base at Zolos. That ought to be a pushover. What's our next move? There's a Professor Davidson stopping at the Tradewinds Hotel. He's preparing to take an expedition into the jungle, but he won't leave until after he's had a meeting with Smith. So? I want you to find out what a university professor wants with a crook like Singapore Smith. I'll do my best. Who is it? Oh, come in. Yeah, hi, Singapore. I want you to meet Professor Davidson. He's been waiting a week for you to get back. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting, Professor. I'll see you later. After we've corresponded for so long, I'm glad to meet you in person. Did you bring the keys? I have them right here. Good. Let's see how they match up with mine. Oh, sit down. Now, let's see what we've got here. One piece missing. I knew it would take seven pieces to complete that map, but felt certain that with your three and my three would be enough to give us the location of the lost city of the Zolus. Looks like you thought wrong. I see now. The 
But it is absolutely necessary to have the seven key to determine the location of the treasure. Well, that being the case, you might as well forget the whole thing. I have no idea where that key can be found. According to legend, it should be in the possession of one of the tribes somewhere here in these jungles. I wouldn't gamble too much on a legend. There are over 50 different tribes living in that plague-ridden country. Some of them are none too friendly. Nevertheless, I'm determined to take my expedition in there, even without your help. Well, it's up to you. When do you want to start? Just as soon as possible. I think I can line up a pack train for you by tomorrow. Good. I'll inform the members of my party of that effect. Or oh, uh, you'd better put yours back in the safe. They're no good to me. Here. You keep them until you find the seventh one. There you are. What is the lost city of the Zolas? Centuries ago, when the Zolas were a rich and powerful nation, their country was ruthlessly invaded. The high chief gathered the country's treasures into their main city, then covered it with water by destroying the dam. So the population scattered into the hills. They broke up into seven groups, and the leader of each group was given one part of this unusual map. This was done so that it would be necessary for all to be together when they wanted to recover the treasure after the invader had left. Nice idea. That way they couldn't double-cross each other. Yes, but apparently the plan didn't work out, and the treasure has never been recovered. Come in, Jeffrey. I understand from Singapore Smith we're starting out tomorrow. That's right. I personally don't think Diana should go with us. What do you think, Jeff? I'm inclined to agree with you. Jungle is no place for an attractive young lady. I'm capable of taking care of myself as well as any of you, and no amount of argument is going to make me change my mind. But listen, Diana. Save your breath, Byron. You may be engaged to Diana, but as her uncle let me tell you, you're only wasting your time trying to change your mind. Any reply yet to that cablegram I sent? Not yet, Rusty. Thanks. Ready, darling? Uh-huh. Sure you won't change your mind and come sightseeing with us? Positive. I must get some letters written before we leave in the morning. Good night. Good night. See you later, Jeff. We thought this was... What are you fellas doing in that room? Well, we... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I caught these three trying to break into Professor Davidson's room. Oh, a little second story work, eh? I'll lock them up in my office until the police can get here. Come on, you get going. You bring up the other two. Thanks, Milton Prescott. But I guess I can handle them now. I'm sorry about this, but I assure you it won't happen in my hotel again. If you need any help, I'm at your service. Thank you. So, the three of you couldn't handle one man and a dog. Before you get all worked up, you might just as well know he didn't catch us until we were leaving the professor's room. I apologize. Nice work, boys. That's what I want you to do. Get into hiding until we all leave town tomorrow. Prescott, I was going up to your room. This cablegram just came in for you. Oh, thank you. It just looks like I had a lot of trouble to find you. Hmm. Forward SS Royal Prince, forward Tradewinds Hotel Saipana. Thank you. My father taken very ill. Take first plane to Saipana and contact me for further instructions. Uh, where can I find a Mr. Fenton in this town? Fenton. Fenton. Uh, yes, this message is signed Rusty Fenton. Oh, Rusty. Sure, everybody knows him. You go down toward the river. You will pass warehouse. Voice trail on your left. He'll take you right into his shack. I see. Thank you. <coughs> yeah? Are you Rusty Fenton? That's the handle. I am Jeffrey Prescott. I received this cablegram at the hotel. Well, come in. <laughs> Say, I sent that cablegram to Millville. Right, but it reached me here in Saipano. Oh, you were on your way into surprise, Daddy. I came here with an expedition. I thought it would give me a chance to drop in on my father and surprise him, but uh, this message takes all the joy out of it. Yes, I know. Now, I have a native guide waiting to take you in, and I'd advise you get there as quickly as possible. Can we get through tonight? Well, it's moonlight. Why not? Fine. I've got some business to attend to the hotel first, and I'll see you later. All right. The guide will be waiting. But the six keys are no good to us until the professor finds the seventh. And then what? Well, as their guide, you'll be right there when that happens. It's going to be up to you to get hold of that and bring it back here to me. Who is it? Can I see a minute, Mr. Smith? This is Prescott. What can I do for you? I'm checking out. Nothing wrong, I hope. Oh, no. Just received a message which makes it imperative for me to leave right away. Uh, please see that Professor Davidson gets this note as soon as he returns. Why, certainly. Thank you. Come on, boy. Good luck. Things happen fast, don't they? <laughs> reasons which I cannot explain, I must resign from the expedition. I know this will cause you some inconvenience, but I have no choice. Good luck and success. Sincerely, G. Prescott. Well, this works out just perfect for us. It'll be all right, Dad. I've studied poisons and their cures at Melville, and I... There's no use. There's no cure for the I.N.E. poison. But, Dad, I can... Uh, don't talk, my son, but listen. There is so much to say and so little time to say it. You learned the tongues of the jungle people. I've studied them as you ordered, but I'm not too sure of any of them yet. That will come with practice. Now, there's another thing you must learn. The secrets of magic as practiced by the medicine men. Magic? Yes. There's nothing that so sways the native mind as a few simple tricks and illusions. Zuba will teach you. Come, give me a hand, my son.
These are the treasures stored through the centuries by your ancestors. Why, there's a fortune here in jewels and gold. It's yours now to use against the enemy who is coming to our jungles for some mysterious reason. Now to the tomb of your ancestors. Stay here, devil. Over here, my son. And you solemnly swear before the tombs of your ancestors that you will carry on with a vengeance against all piracy, greed, and cruelty. I swear it. This ring is a symbol of the phantom. Wear it. My son, you are now the ruler and protector of all the people in these jungles. That Tonga village. He ain't gonna show up. Get ready to announce his death to all the tribes, and then we'll have things our own way. Master, the native's very impatient for you to appear. I am ready, Suba. I tell you, he ain't gonna show. Get going. Wait till Suba makes smoke. Now smoke come. Watch. That can't be the real phantom. I know I killed him. This is just a trick to fool the natives. Oh, no. Him phantom. Him phantom. Man who never dies. It looks like him to me. Why, it can't be. He's a much younger and taller guy than the real phantom. I'm telling you, that guy's a fake. It looks like you miss Long. Let's tell the natives that guy's a phony. Yeah? And when they ask us how we know, we tell them you killed the real phantom. Why, you'd have your head drying over a fire in no time. Let's get out of here. Well, devil, old boy. So far, so good. Looks like we got off to a good start. Hmm? Master, Suba very worried. What's wrong? Chota, chief of Mara tribe, never come to attend meeting. Is that anything to worry about? Yes, Mara tribe very bad. Like to fight and kill. If Chota not come, means he making ready to start trouble. Then let's beat him to the punch. If he wants war, we'll give him war. War no good. You must go see Chota and tell him no fight. All right, Suba, I'll have Moku take me there. No, you must go alone. How can I? I don't know the jungle. I'd never find the Mala village. Moku Mark trail for you. All right, Devil, let's go. No, you must go alone. Sorry, old boy. You have to stay here. I'm ready, Suva. Show me the trail. Keep the whole fire burning, boy. Mala village this way. Follow trees marked like this. I sure can't miss those marks. I'll be back soon. Tight tie on that now. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're about organized, Mr. Smith. Yes, looks like everything's practically ready. I've notified the authorities in all coastal cities to pick up Prescott if he tries to leave the country. Fine. And if he's in the jungle, the chances are we'll run into him sooner or later. I can't believe that Jeff's a thief. Who else could have stolen the keys? 
I should have known that he was up to something when I caught him listening outside of my room yesterday. We're all ready to start any time you are, Professor. Take good care of him, Larkin. Well, good hunting, Professor. Thanks. Hold the bucket. Hey. You take cover mark by the tree. So. Fix mark? All covered. Good. Now you take this trail. Come, we hide here. trail, all right. Sure. Chota's got ideas. That trail lead to Devil Swamp. Evil spirit not let him escape. From high place and tree, we watch. Get out of there. Look, alligator. Well, we won't have to worry about him any longer. Come, go to village, sound drums, tell all tribes, Phantom dead. to be Chota's next move. Is the Davidson expedition safe from further attack? Will the outlaws be able to disband the safari? Don't miss The Man Who Never Dies, the next exciting episode of The Phantom at this theater next week. Professor Davidson possesses part of the only map that shows how to reach the lost city of Zolos. In order to take his expedition there, he must find the missing part of the map. Singapore Smith, certain there is a treasure buried in Zolos, plans to double-cross Davidson. Meanwhile, the Phantom is trapped by another faction headed by Dr. Bremer, a secret agent and head of a ring of foreign saboteurs. Suddenly... 
Adam soon be gone. He'll never get out of there. Look, alligator. Go to village, sound drums, tell all tribes, Phantom dead. message. Phantom makes Spirit of Swamp angry. Spirit of Swamp kill Phantom. You sure Phantom dead? Phantom never walk again. Go, make drums talk loud. Him tell all jungle people. What's wrong, Larkin? Those drums, they're telling of the death of the Phantom. What's that got to do with us? Well, the porters are afraid to venture any farther into the jungle without the Phantom's protection. That's nonsense. We're going through Mala territory. You know that tribe's not to be fooled with. The Malas haven't attacked anybody for years. That's right, but only because they feared the wrath of the Phantom. What do the porters want to do? They want us to turn back. That might not be a bad idea. We're not going back, Phantom or no Phantom. Tell the porters that, Larkin. All right. Malakala was killed while making the order. Tell them a shush. Tell them a shush. Tell them. Do you think the Malas might attack us? We might as well be on the lookout. Let's get started. Master! What happened? Someone changed the trail so that it led me into the swamp. Yes, we find spot where they cover up knife marks I make. Must be work of Chota or some other Mala man. I'm starting out again right away from all the village. And this time I'm certain to get there. Oga, Allah. Master. Much better you appear first and show Tonga people that jungle drums have lied. Maybe you're right, Suba. Come on, devil. One more thing, master. Me worried about dog. Tonga people may wonder where Phantom found such loyal pet. You're not suggesting that I get rid of devil, are you? Yes, master. Call your people together and I'll talk to them from the altar.
People of Tonga, the drums have lied to you. Jungle enemies have tried to make you believe that the evil spirit of the swamp had done away with me. But as you see, the phantom lives. While through the jungle, I saw this friendly dog held by the evil spirit of the sinking sand. I fought the evil spirit and overpowered them. Then I pulled him out of the swamp and brought him here for you to see. Sound the drums and tell all the jungle tribes the phantom is still a man who never dies and that the peace of the jungle must not be broken. Suba. must be exceptionally good, Larkin. I didn't see anything. Neither did I. I shot only hoping to frighten them. Now the warriors fight from ambush. They usually keep out of sight. How can you fight anybody you can't even see? Right through the chest. Oh, Byron, this is terrible. It's getting too hot for me around here. I'm getting out. They're getting closer. Yeah. Yeah, they'll try and keep us at bay until dark, and then they'll close in on us from all sides. Looks like our goose is cooked. Drums. What's all that jabbering about? The drums are telling them that the phantom is alive and that there must be no fighting in the jungle. But do those natives that are attacking us know that too? Bola, bola, buka! Bola, village! Bola, village! Well, there's your answer, Professor. The tribal chief is calling off his warriors. Bola, bola! Ala, waka, ala! Look! There, through the trees. Stand aside, let me take a crack at him. No, no, please. Not well enough alone. Yes, if the Phantom insists on peace, let us comply with it, too. Well, you're not beginning to believe that Phantom bunk, are you? Bunk or not, his order certainly got us out of a nasty situation. Well, I think we can go on now with safety. Thank him. Hold on, Get it. Goodbye, old fellow. And this time, you stay put. See that he stays here. And don't worry, I'm not going to miss the trail this time. He very brave and strong. He was the successor to his great father, but he has much to learn. Follow him and be ready if he needs your help. I told you I wanted Davidson and his party captured. I didn't want you coming back with any phony excuses about the Phantom still being alive. Short or sorry, but drums say Phantom not dead. Short of want to go on, but warrior's afraid. Maybe next time, Short do better. There ain't gonna be any next time. I'm going after Davidson myself. Hey, you guys. All right, break it up, boys. Come on, we got things to do. Come on, come on, let's hustle. Phantom, come! Phantom! Oh, 
welcome to Mala Village, O oh Great One. We're very happy you honor us with visit. Why did you not attend the meeting of the tribal chiefs? Evil white men in Mala Village would not let Chota attend. Are they here now? No, no, they leave, go far away. Chota tell them he no wants such men in Mala Village. Who are they? Traitors? Chota not know. One day they come to Mala Village. They stay and make much trouble. Chota get very angry and say he will tell Phantom. Evil white men fear ghost who walks. So they leave, every one. Chota, you have lied. No, no. Chota thought all white men had gone. Chota never lied to Phantom. Spirit of fire. If Shota has lied, burn down Malda village. Oh, Master. Chota never lie again. Please tell men to put out fire. Save Mala village from burn down. Put out the fire. Shut up! Yes. Any more white men hiding out here? No, Master. He only one left. All the rest have gone. Where do they go? They go to meet Safari coming through jungle. They want to see what three white men and pretty girl are looking for. Where is that Safari heading for? On trail to Longo Village. You keep him prisoner until they return. Yes. Remember your orders. Get the natives first. All right, boys, scatter in behind those rocks. Take cover! That was a gunshot. Yes, we're not up against natives this time. at the edge of the brush. Serious, keep firing. I'm all out of ammunition. Oh, look, Byron, the Phantom. Don't be silly. See anything? Oh, he's, he's gone. Oh, but look at his face. The mark of the phantom. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to tangle with him again. Come on, Brogan, we're getting out of here. I can see if we have any porters left.
have the jungle renegades won out? Is the Davidson Safari doomed? What are Dr. Bremer's plans? Don't fail to see A Traitor's Code, the next thrilling episode of The Phantom at this theater next week. Phantom discovers that a number of white outlaws plan to attack the Davidson expedition. He manages to rescue the safari and is pursuing the jungle desperados when suddenly... This way. Moku out hunting. Why you come here, Master? I was chasing some renegades who had attacked Davison's expedition. Footprints lead the Mala village. We follow? Later. First, I must make sure that the professor and his party are all right. been a shot now for five minutes. Oh. I'd better check and see how many men we have left. You've been wounded. Let me look at your arm. Oh, it's nothing. I wonder why they stopped so suddenly. Another few minutes, they would have got all of us. The Phantom saved us. I saw him fight with those men. The Phantom? Why, that's absurd. He's only a legend the stupid natives believe in. You're upset, my dear. I let your imagination get the best of you. I'm sorry, I must disagree with that. We meant no offense. We sincerely appreciate your help. Thanks for rescuing us. Master, Master, Moko find three white men lying in jungle. Shall Moko kill them? No, take them to Tonga village so that I may judge them. Yes, Master. I suggest you camp here until I can send you new porters to take the place of those you lost. Wait, I want to ask you a few questions. Some other time. I'm certain we'll meet again before long. Hey, he works fast, doesn't he? He reminds me of someone we all know. But I just can't place him. Here you go! Here you go! Oh, hit you! Oh, oh. Now listen, Chota. Chota don't want to talk to you. Phantom finds you here, he burned down Mala Village. You go now. We won't leave here till you find us a new hangout. And if you get tough about it, you won't have to worry about the Phantom burning down this joint. We'll do it ourselves. Oh, come on, Ta loco! Sedi kato! Shikamo zetunkwa! Sinio kasko! 
Uh, oh, no. Chota say go. But where else in this jungle can we hide out? Chota no care. You go now. Now listen to me, Chota. Give us a break, will you? We've got to find uh, a place. You go to Blackie's. Tell him Phantom sent you. Ghost who walk, never look for you there. Say, that might be smart play. Okay, Chota. We'll go. But remember, if the Phantom shows up, you ain't seen us. Chota no fool. Chota no want trouble. You don't take him. Shut up. Who locked you up in there? Choto. The Phantom made him promise not to let me go. The Phantom? Yeah. Why, I thought he was... Look at the trademark he slapped on him. Well, here's your chance to make a getaway. No. You don't take him. Phantom say he stay here. You said he should go with us, didn't you? He go with you. Well, what are you waiting for? You want to keep on living, Chota? You better not try to follow us. No, wait. We fix him other time. Eighty cases of ammunition. Check. Twenty cases of hand grenades. Check. Two hundred rifles. Check. Oh, Miller, come in. Yeah, hello, Doc. Meet Counsel Lento. How do you do? How do you do? Miller's one of my best and most valuable aides. He's the manager of the Trade Winds Hotel. An excellent spot to pick up information, I'd say. Soleto's bringing us the weapons to arm the natives with. Well, that is good news. Yes, in a few days, there'll be so much fighting in the jungle, no white man will dare to enter it. But I hear there's a Professor Davidson in there now. Aren't you afraid he might stumble onto your secret air base? I'm certain that he's already returning to Saipana. Dead or alive? <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, is all right with me. Well, I wonder how much longer we'll have to sit around this place. Hello? What's this? I bring new porters like Phantom promised. Excellent. Assign them their packs, Larkin, and we'll get started again. Right. Tell your master we appreciate his help. Phantom say Moko guide you on journey. That's fine. But Mr. Larkin is guiding us to Longo Village, and I... Uh... You'll be in good hands with this man, Professor. He knows the jungle better than I do. And with this arm of mine, I... Yes, yes, of course. You'd better go back to Saipana and have it attended to. Mr. Smith ordered me to stay with you, but... Oh, don't worry about that. I'm sure we can manage for a while without you. You'd better go. Thanks. I'll try and rejoin you at the Longo Village. Uh, take one of the porters to carry your belongings. All right, I will. Can we reach the Longo Village by night? No, too far. Tonight, camp at Blackie's. Who's Blackie? He trapped animals for Rusty. Good man, friend of Phantom. Very well. Get your porters loaded and we'll be on our way. You know, there's one thing that's got me worried. Yeah, what? Supposing the Phantom should make Joe to tell him that we took this trail and are heading for Blackie's. Well, that'd be just too bad for us. And I ain't anxious to meet him again. Phantom! 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 Phantom, come! Phantom! Phantom, come! Phantom! Welcome, all ghost who walks, man who never dies. I have dies. no time for any palaver now. Where is that man I asked you to hold? Where is he? He escaped. He found gun and... Yeah, you lie. No, master. May my staff become a servant if Choda lies. <sighs> Where is he? Other white men come back, find him, then take him away. They take trail to Blackie's. Try to tell truth now. We shall see. Pick up your stick. 
Now I know you spoke the truth. But should you ever lie to me again, you shall all suffer for it. Did you leave the professor's party? I told you to stay with them. Professor and friends, prison is at Blackie's place. At Blackie's? Yes, master. Moko takes the fatty there. Blackie very glad. Start cook feast. Then bad men come. Kill Blackie. Kill porters. How far is it to Blackie's from here? If hurry, can get there by sundown. Then let's not waste time. <laughs> with that old Blackie out of the way, what do you say we take off his fur business, eh? You can have it, Marson. Yeah, I'll say. Thunderhead arrow, see? Look, Professor, he's been hit with an arrow. Sandy! Thank heaven you got here. Where's your niece? In that last hut. But they have a native woman guarding her. Where's the rest of his gang? In Blackie's hut, the one on stilts. Hurry up, Moku, and wait for me near that last hut. Stay out here and keep your eyes peeled.
Yes, ladies. I'm going to take care of the Phantom. Will the saboteurs rule the jungle now? Will Professor Davidson learn of Larkin's treachery? What brings this man of mystery to Saipana? Don't miss the seat of judgment the next breathtaking episode of The Phantom at this theater next week. Fearing that Professor Davidson and his associates will learn of his secret plans, Dr. Bremer has his men capture the expedition. The Phantom comes to the rescue and gives battle to the enemy, when suddenly... Take care of the Phantom. I guess we gave the natives a slip, all right. Take a shot at me. How do I know it was you? Well, we gotta get out of here. We'll head back to Saipan and tell Bremer the Phantom's dead. He's certainly gonna be madder than a hornet when he hears we didn't get those keys from Davidson. How could we get him when he didn't have them? Hold on, hold on. Wait. We can't leave the Phantom like this. What, my dear? He saved us and we have no right to run away. Come on, Byron, let's go back and help him. Get ourselves killed? I'll go myself. Master! Master! I was afraid they might kill you. Remember the legend? The Phantom is the man who never dies. Again, we have to thank you for it. Right now, you must get to a place of safety. Oh, where do you suggest we go? Come to Tonga Village. From there, I can... Nonsense. Uh... It'd be safer to return to Saipana. That's too far from here to make it without supplies or porters. He's right, Byron. Follow me. What are your plans now, Professor? Frankly, I don't know. I'm undecided whether it's worthwhile to go on without our map. What map? We had six pieces of ivory known as keys, which, when formed into a map, show the location of the lost city of Zolas. Yeah, if that fellow Prescott hadn't stolen it, we wouldn't be in this quandary. Who is Prescott? He was the fourth member of our party. He stole the keys and disappeared the night before we left Savannah. 
What makes you so sure that this Prescott was a thief? He and the keys disappeared at the same time. Even so, I don't believe Jeffrey stole them. An honest man wouldn't have left so suddenly without saying a word. Are you certain he didn't leave you a message explaining why he went away? I inquired about that at the hotel and was told he positively hadn't. But I still think you were wrong to have Singapore Smith swear out a warrant for his arrest. Master, it is time to judge the three white men who attacked the expedition. Bring them before the seat of judgment, that they may have a fair and open trial. Why did you attack the expedition? Answer me. We were paid to do it. Who hired you? Guy from Saipana. His name is Andy Chris. Why did he want you to assault the professor's expedition? He didn't tell us and we didn't ask. Why don't you stop gabbing and throw the book at us? Very well, here's my judgment. You shall be set free presently to return to Saipana. But if you ever again enter this section of the jungle, your lives will be forfeited to the Tonga tribe. Guards, these prisoners will be taken to Saipana Trail and released. Why, he's almost a king with power of life and death. Master, was it wise to free those men? Yes, Suba. I'm certain they'll lead me to the man who's in back of all this. That's why I'm leaving for Saipana. Saipana? I must find the man who paid those hirelings to assault the Davidson expedition. Suba understands. Good. I won't be gone for long. Oh, uh, the guests. I'll leave them in your care. You needn't say where I've gone. And you say you're positive the Phantom is dead? No one could come out of that explosion alive. But you failed to get the keys from Davidson. I told you I searched every one in his expedition, and none of them had anything that even looked like them. I can't understand that. Long saw Singapore Smith give them to Davidson at the hotel. Maybe the old crook double-crossed the professor and stole them back later on. Well, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, come in, Count. Count Salento, meet Andy Chris. Hello. Hi. Chris is the man I sent out to convince Davidson that it would be unwise for his expedition to continue. Did the professor accept your advice? I think we stopped them from any further desire to go into the jungle. I have some good news also. The munitions arrived safely and can be picked up at the warehouse. That's fine. Chris, get your boys together and pick the stuff up at the warehouse tonight. Get them into the jungle right away and start arousing the natives. Right. Well, come in. Well, what are you doing in Saipan and why in this disguise? There's someone here in town anxious to get rid of the Phantom and stir up the natives. That's why I came in this outfit. And the name is Walker. Mr. Walker, at your service. Now, who do you suspect? Well, maybe I'll be able to tell you about that later. Meanwhile, I want to leave Devil here with you. While I pay the thieving Smith a surprise visit. All right, I'll take care of the dog. Devil, you stay with Rusty. See you later. You bet. And a lot of good luck. Come in. I'm not intruding, Mr. Smith. Who are you? What do you want? My name is Walker. 
I'd like to have a look in your safe. Certainly. I'm always glad to open my safe for strangers. Now, will you open the safe? Oh. And keep your trap shut. All right. There's the mummy. Lay it on the floor. Yep. Take everything out and put it down beside the money. Have another one, Locker. It's on the house. I'll take a rain check. I got to go in and talk to Singapore. Now, wait a minute. I'll go in with you. Insurance policies. Put them down. Singapore's in good humor. I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. He's had a grouch on all day. Well, there's everything I've got in the safe. Now, take what you want and get out. You haven't shown me what I came after yet. Take out that little box. Just what did you come after, mister? Take off those blinkers, and maybe you can see what I've got in my hand. Oh! Where's my gun? I'll go after him. Better not. He's a tough baby. Anyway... Where's the guy, and where'd he come for? I don't know. I, I never saw him before. Anyway, he didn't get anything. Back your card in here, Marson. We'll get the stuff out. All right, boys. This is it. Everything marked canned goods. Fumigating room. Danger. All right, boys, let's get this stuff out. Hey, who uses this room? Rusty Fenton fumigates his furs in here. Nice looking skin. Come on, give me a hand. Yeah. service, Rusty. And does devil know your footsteps? Hi, fella. How'd you come out? Eh, yeah, no luck. Better sit down and have some supper. Might as well. Say, uh, what do they keep in that old warehouse at the edge of the clearing, Rusty? Oh, most everything, I guess. I've got some furs there myself. Why? Oh, I saw some fellas carrying out boxes and loading them on an ox cart. At this time of night? Yeah. That's why it struck me as funny. Say, those furs of mine are valuable. I better get over there and see if they're all right. Okay, I'll go with you. No, Devil, you stay here. We'll be right back. Furs they're loading. Now, what are you trying to do? Kill me? Oh, shut up. Those guns ain't loaded. Oh, no, but if this crate was loaded with dynamite. Well, I wouldn't have dropped it. Come on, grab a hold. Let's get this load of rifles out of here. Rifles, eh? I've seen those men before. They're members of a group that's trying to destroy the peace of the jungle. They'll do it, too, if they ever get guns to those natives. It's up to me to see if they don't. From here on, I work as a phantom. Rusty, you slip around and cover the men of the cart. I'll get into the warehouse and cover the others. All right. Get all this stuff in one cart. 
I'll say we won't. With a little luck, we can make three trips this week. Hold it. Get your hands up, up high. Not where you are. Reach. Bring him in, Rusty. Come on. Come here, Rusty, and take their guns. Turn that little valve. I guess that'll take care of them. All right, boys, let's finish loading and get out of here. to stop Dr. Bremer now. And what will become of the Davidson Safari? Don't fail to see The Ghost Who Walks, the next thrill-packed episode of The Phantom at this theater next week. effort to solve the theft of the ivory keys, the Phantom disguises himself. In doing so, he learns of a gun-running plot. Alone and outnumbered many times, he attempts to stop the outlaws, when suddenly... do is turn that little valve. Get 
ready to pull out, Marson. Okay, boys, let's get out of here. I've been waiting over an hour. What the hell's you up? Phantom. Chris, you told me you took care of him at Blackie's place. I can't understand how he got out of that explosion. Well, what happened at the warehouse? The Phantom and Rusty jumped us while we were loading the stuff. There was a fight. And then what? We overpowered the mysterious strong man and put him to death in Rusty's gas chamber. Well, that's fine, but what about Rusty? Why worry about him? If he was working with the Phantom, there's some tie-up between them. He'll tell the whole town we're running guns into the jungle. Chris, see if you can go and take care of him, will you? You head for out in the gorge. Porters will meet you there to unload the cart and carry the stuff into the jungle. But I want you to hurry so you'll get there by morning. Right. All right, gee. Gee. Why would they want to run guns into the jungle? There's only one answer to that. They're trying to stir up trouble among the natives. I know, but for what reason? I don't know, Rusty. But it's my duty to find out. What's the matter, devil? Trouble? Rusty, I'm going to show you something. Three bullet holes right through a skull. Boy, oh boy, was that fast thinking on your part. Did you recognize him? Well, with his face in that window light, how could I miss? He's one of the men that jumped us at the warehouse. Who does he work for? Now, that I don't know. Well, then, suppose you try and find out. Now that he thinks you're dead, he may come out into the open. I'll leave, leave Devil here with you. You can send a message by him as soon as you find out who the killer's working for. Yeah, but where will you be? I'm going to Tonga Village to get Moku and some of the natives to help me find out where those guns are being moved to. All right. Not this time, Devil. You stay here with Rusty. Come on. I can't see any sense of sitting around here another day. I'm getting fed up with it. But we have no choice. Nonsense. We started out into this jungle to find a lost city. 
And the Phantom told this guy to provide us with porters. He did. They were killed. So let him get us some more. How about that? Phantom say not to give new bearers until he come back. Where'd he go? Moko not know. I think you're lying. Moko obedient to Phantom. Supposing I go into Saipana myself and see if I can find Larkin. If he hasn't rounded up some new porters by this time, I'll get some of my own. But Byron. Or did the Phantom tell you not to let us go into Saipana either? Phantom not say. Okay, then guide me there. I'll be ready in ten minutes. Wait a minute. That sacred bird, you not kill. Mind your own business. Better see who's doing that shooting. Bird fly away. You tell me once more what to do and what not to do, and I'll use this on you. You understand? I'll get going. It's that fellow Byron, a native. Who's Byron? One of the guys in the Davidson outfit. He was at the village when the Phantom kicked us out into the jungle. We could use that gun he's packing. And how? Well, let's get it. He's got a blowgun. Man who steal rifle dead. Good work, Moko. Him dead too? He's got a very bad scalp wound. Drum say porters meet white men at under gorge and carry boxes into jungle. Yes, I know. That's the rifles and ammunition they took out of the warehouse. Take them to Tonga Village. Yes, Master. If not for you, Moko help Master at Under Gorge. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Yeah. Here comes along. All right, fellas, let's get going. Porters will be waiting for us up at the bridge. Hey. All right, Chief. Fred. <laughs> and you'd better run up ahead and see if everything's clear. This is it. It's all clear, but there's no porters here. Well, that's funny. They should have been here by now. Well, the only thing we can do is wait. be holding up those porters. Ah, uh, you know how they are. They'll be along pretty soon. Hey, where's Grogan? He was standing at that bridge a minute ago. Grogan! Hey, Grogan! Thank you. 
Come here, quick! Where are you? Over here. What happened to him? Look. The mark of the phantom. The phantom? He can't be here. Well, this just happened. He must be around here someplace. Let's scatter and find him. for the natives. Yeah, I wonder where the gang is. Over by the bridge, I guess. Jungle renegades now safe from justice? And who can step in to thwart the plans of Bremer? Learn the answer in Jungle Whispers, the next exciting episode of The Phantom at this theater next week. and Moku, on their way to Saipana, run into an ambush. 
Phantom rescues them and learns of the Gunrunner's plans. He races to forestall them at Onda Gorge, when suddenly... Got ourselves in a pocket. I hope you know where we're going. We'll get through. We're pretty close to the bridge now. Look, Salento. What's the matter, Salento? What happened? Where is he? Where's who? The Phantom. The Phantom? <laughs> Collins and Paul, too. Yeah, but how are you going to get the ammunition across? Well, we're going to have to follow along this bank till we come to another bridge or a ford. It's the only thing we can do. Well, let's get started. Yes. Make this or not, we'll have to give it a try. Wait a minute. Ooh. We'll have to pull this load, boys, and take it across empty and load it again on the other side. Why don't we fix some grub first? Say, that's a good idea. I'm glad I thought of that. You better and hitch the oxen and let them graze around a bit. Give me a hand, Grogan. Yeah. Come on, Salento, grab a little of this wood and we'll build a fire. All right. Drop that pin. Back. 
Come on, Red. Come on. G. G. Hey. Looks like the end of the trail for us. That explosion got Grogan, too. Yeah, there's nothing we can do for him. I'm getting out here. I've had enough of this phantom. Yeah. And face Bremer after what happened? Well, I'd rather do that than face somebody I can't fight. Long's right. We wouldn't stand a chance in this jungle. The phantom would get us before we ever saw him. All right. Then let's get out of here. Zolo. I've got to get to Zolo. Are you certain that man said Zolus? I'm positive. Why should a lost city be so important to anyone but an archaeologist? I don't know. But your expedition, which set out to find it, was stopped. The men who were moving the munitions are the same ones who attacked you. That means whoever they work for doesn't want that place discovered. I don't see any reason for that. Neither do I yet. I'm going back to Saipana. Maybe Rusty has something to tell me by this time. Well, while you're there, you might see what happened to our guide, Larkin. You want to sit around Tonga waiting for him for the rest of our lives. I'll do that. In the meantime, please stay here in the village. No more running around the jungle on your own. Right. Be back as soon as I can, Professor. Good luck. Well, we did the best we knew how. The whole thing just couldn't be helped. Yeah, there's no use crying over spilt milk. One thing, however, becomes more certain every moment. There are two men who must be gotten out of the way quickly if we ever expect to complete our airfield at Zolus. You mean the Phantom and Rusty? Certainly I mean them. These two are working together, the Phantom in the jungle and Rusty here in town. Both of them know all of you, and sooner or later they're going to trace me through you. Now, this must not happen. What do you want us to do? I want all of you to clear out of town and go to Zolus. But before leaving Saipana, take care of Rusty. Okay, boss. We won't miss this time. You'd better not. Well, what's the matter? You know where he lives, don't you? Go on, move. Come on, let's crowd in on him. Well, devil, how are I didn't stay long, did I? No, see old Sawbones fix me up. Yes, sir. You and Slando stash yourself in behind those rocks. Marson, cover the other side of the house. I'll slip in on him when you're set. Right. Shooting. 
You got Salado, huh? Yeah. You be careful on your way, son. Stay here. Phantom's dog just left here. What'd you let him get away for? Well, I took a shot at him when I missed, but only had a piece of paper tied around his collar. Trying to get a message through to the Phantom. Well, ain't that just ducky? What do you mean? Oh, I get it. We'll lay here and wait for him. Did you ever hear of a booby trap? Marson, tie that guy up hands and foot. Bring that rack with you. I'll show you a trick. Okay, Chris. Into that trigger. Okay. You take this in, you tie it onto his belt, you take all the slack out of it. And when a phantom comes in, first thing he sees is a guy laying there on the ground. He wants to know what's wrong with him. So the first thing he does is turn him over. Like this. Boom. That takes care of both of them. Okay, Long, we'll try it. Cock that shotgun and make sure there's no shells in it. You ready? Yeah. Okay. She clicks. That's it. Load her up. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, let's get out of here. Stay here, fella. Renegades and saboteurs join forces. Will outlaws rule the jungle now? See what happens in the Mystery Well, the next action crammed episode of The Phantom at this theater next week. <laughs> Hello again, this is Don O'Malley with Don's Breakfast Cereal Show. I hope you're enjoying us. Join us next week and watch the rest of these chapters. Now, both the cameraman and I can't remember if this ended at Chapter 7 or not, but you were probably watching. So tune in next week, and we'll show you another part of it. Thanks again. This is Don O'Malley with Don's Breakfast Cereal Show.
Nitro, Don. Yay! Yay! I'm the Phantom. And I'm the Tiger who kicked your butt. You didn't kick my butt. Yes, I did. N no, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Okay. Today's host was Don O'Malley. Yay! Yay! Produced by Christine Yon. Yay! Yay! Cameraman was Ed O'Malley. Yay! Yay! I have some tiger jokes. Um, good. You could save those for later when no one's watching. Uh, no. I think we should hear some now. What's the difference between a tiger and a lion? Um, I give up. A tiger has the main part missing. Ooh, that was so bad it hurt. Ooh, boo, boo. On uh, what side does the tiger have the most stripes? Um, uh, I don't know. On the outside. Oh, oh, these, these, these are horrible. Boo. Why do tigers always eat raw meat? Um, no idea, no idea. Because they don't know how to cook. Uh, so sad. So sad. Tiger attack! Uh, what? Tiger what? attack! Oh, Tiger I gotta attack. beat you again? Tiger attack! Uh, Tiger take attack. this! Take that! Take this! Ah! I'm back! Okay! Smack, 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 smack! Stupid tiger. Smack, smack, smack! Smack! Defeated again. Yay for me! Oh, you're back. For more? Yes. Ah! Ah! Take two. Yeah. Uh -huh. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Wait, I need to interrupt. Oh, you're ruining the effect. Uh, I gotta redo that. Sorry. Fix your face. <laughs> Always need to fix your face. And O'Malley edit. I have some tiger jokes. Oh shit! What the hell? For editing, okay. This makes me. No, I'm not doing editing. Okay. The camera's fine. Okay. Uh, I have some tiger jokes. It's too late. I'm not cutting this. We have to redo it. And no plus starts. Take three. Yay! Quit messing with your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take four. Me. You're attacking. Oh! I ducked your head off. I win! Yay! Get your hand out of here, lady. Smack, 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 smack! <laughs> so sad. You lost now, and you lost before. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>